friends, gonna review another movie. I'm gonna gonna review Robo Geisha. Okay, after I reviewed Machine Girl, um, I was I have to review Robo Geisha now. Um, it's the movie that the director Noboru Uguchi, I guess he made it right after Machine Girl and um, Machine Girl, of, of all of his movies I've seen so far Machine Girl is my favorite but after watching Robo Geisha again uh, it's I don't want to say I like it better because I mean, Machine Girl is, has such a special place uh, for me but it's really good. You could tell he improved on his filmmaking. I don't know if it was a must have been a bigger budget because it's just more of everything, more effects, more gore, more characters. But it even looks a it looks a little better. It actually, looks a lot better. And it's about two sisters, um, Kiku Yako, and her little sister Yoshi. But Kiku Yako is like she's a geisha. And she treats her sister Yoshi. She treats her pretty bad. And then just one day, like she's you know doing her geisha stuff for this for a client, and he just notices uh, Yoshi and tells her you know she could be a geisha too. But it's really like this secret terrorist organization where they train uh, young girls to be geishas and like assassins and terrorists. But they also you know transform them into you know, like you know cyborgs. And you know that's. Well, and also, you know, there's the, the conflict between Yoshi, Yoshi and Kikuyako. And, you know, they, they hate each other. And that's where a lot of the story comes from, is, uh, you know, the, the fight between them two. They both become rebel geishas. And then, but then uh, Yoshi, you know, she realizes, you know, what they're doing. You know, they're terrorists, and she wants to get away from it. Um... Also in the movie, there you can see them on the cover, and got a picture of them on the screen. Is the these two girls, the Goblin Squadron? I remember watching it the first time, you know, and then watching it again to review. I forgot they they got a pretty big role. They're really cool. Uh, I watched it dubbed in English, so their voices they're saying they look really growly and snarly, and uh, they're they're pretty cool. And they have like these long noses, and and then like these. Things in their breasts that are sticking out really far, and they had to use swords, and they're they're really cool. They, they added a lot to the movie. And as the movie goes along, you find out that even the families of the girls that have joined the Robo Geisha, you know, army, they're they're looking for them. They want to get their their daughters back. So. Much like Machine Girl, you know, there's a lot of um, like family stuff in there, which gives it, you know, kind of a heart. You know, it's not just a, I mean, it's a total gore movie, but it just has a little, you know, more story to it, something you can latch on to that, that uh, you know, it, you know, gives it more heart. So that, I for, I'd forgotten about that, so that was really cool, too. And plus the stuff between Kikuyaku and Yoshi, which, you know, you know, at the end, you, you know, it gets resolved. Um, there's a lot of good effects in here. There's a lot of CGI, but but I haven't seen so many movies with CGI <coughs> that's gotten used to it, so it didn't really bother me. But there's a lot of good practical effects, like there's a saw blade. Robogeisha has like a saw blade in her mouth. That that looked really cool. Um, she has like a sword arm. She just has a lot of weapons, and even towards the end, she like transforms into like the bottom half is like a tank tread. She can race. She races race down the highway and then that part it kind of has like a Robocop uh, music rip off you know just a nod to you know Robo Robo movies and Robocop um, so you yeah, watching it again and then it has a has a weird sense of humor there's a lot of humor and it's just offbeat kind of gross weird it, it, I mean I guess because it's Japanese it's, it's different than a lot of them than American movies Um, let's see what what else can I say about it um, without giving too much away. Um, there's also a big uh, there's a building at the end that transforms into a robot that was cool. Uh, just 
lot of lot of killings, a lot of vi- uh, pretty you know violent, uh, just not you know like not really gruesome or brutal or like downbeat. It's you know kind of cartoonish and comic comic book like. So that that's great. That's what I like about it. And um, if you and it also you know it's like a it's like a you know action horror well not horror but action gore but also it's weird so it's, it's kind of like it's not like movies like Sallow or John Waters movies but it, it has a little I think it has a little influence of those kinds of you know crazy movies like that so it's like in the middle and I like that too so um, if, if you've gotten Machine Girl or or you're thinking about getting Machine Girl then you should you know if you're gonna get into these kind of movies you Gotta get Robo Geisha too. Oh yeah, let me show you the, the slipcase. There's a, a disc. And then on the back of the cover has this cool picture of Robo Geisha and the Goblin Squadron. Yeah, it's really cool. So, you know, um, there's, he's made so many movies now, I don't know He's made anything recently, but the Tokyo Gore Police, Machine Girl, and Robogation. I guess I should review Tokyo Gore Police too. But Robogation is it's really great. I, I've, um, I don't know how many times I've seen it. Maybe like three, maybe five times now, and it's just, it's gotten better. It's one of my favorite. It came out in two thousand and ten. It's one of my favorite kind of newer movies, and I totally suggest it. And I want to dedicate. Uh, this review to one of my new subscribers, my friend Garth. Thanks for subscribing, Garth. And um, uh, check out Robogation. We, we should watch it together if we ever hang out again. And you know that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, got a lot more reviews coming. I hope people watch and subscribe. And you know, I'll see you later.